So, Tostin, we're here at Data Art's fourth instalment of their question time. Um, you weren't up on the panel, you were in the audience. So, yep. uh, as somebody in the audience, uh, tell me, what did you take away, or were there more than one takeaways that you, uh, you got from today? There were a couple of um, really interesting takeaways for me. Um, the most pressing one for me is, though, um, that as a travel management company, I'm very keen on understanding how we can serve the business traveler better. And from no one in the panel, we heard about that specific market segment and how the role of a team C could evolve to actually ultimately collaborate better. So that's something that I personally want to make sure that we really tackle as an industry. So you, you're right in that uh, there were no mentions of the corporate market here, but in fact, uh, almost everything that was discussed had relevance. Um, and what was interesting, I suppose, was that um, even though you had different players coming at this from different uh, perspectives, they almost all tend to agree at the end in that they were discussing balance when it comes to distribution. Yeah, and obviously, um, w w one of the takeaway was that um, if you uh, look at the distribution as a portfolio, it needs to be well balanced. And obviously, that's where implicitly a Team C plays a role. Um, I would rather see, though, still even more cooperation across the distribution channel to see, okay, now it's one thing, for example, as a hotelier to want to be able to communicate directly with the traveler. But there's another um, opportunity, which is actually to leverage an existing platform from the intermediate to contact that without having even a discussion around ownership of data or anything like that. And obviously that's key for you and that a lot of the panel were discussing the fact that when dealing with OTAs, you know, they have access to data but not all the data, etc. But for you, obviously your customer, you know, is much more defined, it's a much stronger relationship, you know those customers very well. So that changes the dynamic very much in fact. Well, it should, but um, in reality, currently with the systems that we use, it does not really come across to the hotelier. The hotelier doesn't know that this is now a very um, prestigious corporate uh, client that is a frequent traveler. They might know the loyalty card, but that's about um, all they know. They don't understand that actually, no, you should not treat that traveler with a follow-up CRM email just because they suddenly have the contact details, but um, they should really help to leverage that existing relationship and say, hang on, you've got this big business of very lucrative um, clients can't be help to make the experience better for the traveler and that's something that we need to work on and, and tell me about this environment uh, you know all of us here in the travel industry go to world travel market we go to itb um, we go to a lot of conferences where you hear speakers and there's a huge audience where there's little interaction uh, here it's a much smaller environment that data art have created uh, a very open environment very well managed from, from kevin's perspective in terms of very you know pointed and good questions do you enjoy that environment? Did you learn a lot? Did what you know? What did you genuinely come away with today? Well, I, I love the uh, very diverse audience, and most importantly, I, I love the host and um, the moderator. So um, I come here for first of all a treat because those kind of question time events are always fun and very inf informative. But then, secondly, the networking right after, right before, um, is, is very valuable indeed. And tell me, from the, the, the corporate market, what are the big challenges that are facing you from a technology perspective? I, a lot of the audience here, or questions that came from the audience, discussed where will we be in five years? Yeah. What are we looking at now that's going to be the next game changer in five years from now? From a corporate perspective, because we didn't get that experience, what are those challenges and what do you think is coming down the line? Well, um, as SBCD Travel, we, we look at two um, primary angles. One is to... Um, engage travelers more into the tra travel program but then also on the corporate side to help manage a program better through smart programs so what we need to do is to actually invest in two big um, di dimensions and ultimately bring them together and that sounds um, obviously big enough but at the same time we need to fill the gaps that actually from a corporate travel industry we have not been able to close over the last decade and now it's a matter of actually bring it together fast there are technology enablers out there that allow us to do that all cost money, all cost resources, and things are moving so fast that obviously it's important to look outside and understand what kind of innovators can be used and leverage and integrate into our infrastructure rather than pretending to be able to do everything ourselves. So you've, you've almost answered the question there. So your strategy is to, to develop internally, um, probably more from a strategy perspective, but to definitely work with the enablers and the technology players that are out there. Uh, absolutely. So there are some core elements that we need to own intellectually but most importantly the workflows and how we use them that's something that is um, really something that needs to be proprietary for, uh, proprietary for us but then look into what kind of um, uh, items can we just plug and play almost and bring together into a very smart environment to serve a variety of different client needs. 
So your strategy is probably more aligned with what Red Carnation we're talking about, is that they're using uh, the technology enablers in the market, whereas Accor are trying to do it all internally and literally flip uh, as much as they possibly can and, and go very much digital. Well, the digital is a key enabler for us, and um, ultimately the, um, it allows as a, um, a, a travel management company to communicate directly with the traveller, which in the past was not possible. And not only before they um, actually go on the, the trip, but also en route. So there's a lot of opportunity to actually make a big difference in the life of the traveller and to uh, still allow the uh, corporates to be um, more in, in, uh, responsible for the programme. And that's something that we can really reinvent the value of a TMC moving forward. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.